today is another phase of the Limbrook demonstrator project, like a pilot for NFM, natural flood management, for the catchment of the Limbrook that drains into the River Sheaf. Uh, and what we've got here today is one of the sections of work, which is really what we call a retrofit su sustainable drainage scheme. We've got pitches here, which are all artificially drained and run fast uh, through pipe work and into the river. And part of the project was to look at what other options we have on the catchment. And this is a perfect chance to try and change the way that drainage works. So drain the pitches, yes, but actually bring them to the surface and slow the water down just beyond the pitches in a series of ponds and swales that are adding biodiversity as well as slowing that flow. We started off for this project about a year ago with a feasibility study. We did a six month uh, project to, to look at the whole catchment and identify where the opportunities would be for these for interventions. So we identified um, a, whole, a whole series of ponds that could be put in at the top of the catchment, Lady Canning's plantation. We looked at this and thought that a whole series of ponds and swales down here would be really beneficial. Um, and we also identified through the main, the main stream corridor itself uh, about 40 locations where we can put in leaky dams um, which will also help and slow uh, flows down, down the Limbrook as, as well. Within the Whirlow playing fields we've installed a variety of natural flood management techniques in order to try and catch and slow the flow of water that's falling in the upper Don catchment and low, limit the amount of water hitting Sheffield um, over time. What we'll want to do is to slow this uh, this water out, you know, out in the countryside more. Keep it on, keep it on the land. Let it filter through more slowly, so that there isn't a big flush of water into the Sheffield city centre or in order to the areas that are vulnerable vulnerable to flooding. And it will be safe, It will be a much slower release, so that those peak flows, the peaks within the river, are not going to be so high. The Limbrook Demonstrator Projects are a collaborative working partnership with the Environment Agency, Sheffield City Council and the Sheffield and Rotherham um, Wildlife Trust, working with the contractors um, Wildscapes. It's been a real, a really good collaborative working partnership and um, everyone has brought in various different aspects of expertise and local knowledge and it, it's just really come together and worked really well. It's been free flowing, it's been open, it's, it's been truly collaborative which is is really positive and something that we're, we're keen to catch what has worked within that so we can use that elsewhere. Yeah you can't deliver these projects without a really good partnership approach. Um, the Environment Agency they're obviously the, the regulator they're looking at the, the catchment as a whole and are able to draw down funding bring funding into projects like this and provide certain areas of, of expertise. Um, the council are really critical as well obviously that it's their land and ourselves it's the sort of main delivery agent we've got the skills to sort of de de um, deliver these um, these interventions um, and bring in the biodiversity aspect to this as well you know these ponds are serving a, a, a flood storage function but we also want them to be fantastic for wildlife uh, over time they'll build up a really nice uh, wet vegetation um, within them the swales themselves will vegetate up and alongside the other habitats that we've got here wildflower meadow scrub trees you can have a really nice suite of, of habitats supporting a whole range of wildlife. Having been here now physically I'm just awed by it not just looking at how we manage the, the floods but adding the biodiversity I think that's the key bit and hearing that you've got the local residents the friends group involved again I, I think that's important bringing communities on side. Yeah I mean that's fantastic I'm quite excited I mean the citizen science thing really for me is Having not seen this before, it really does demonstrate what it could be in terms of monitoring these things because natural flood management is a bit of an unknown as to exactly how they will react to storms, how they'll fill up and then fall down. In this case, it's got ponds here, how water will flow through the landscape. So having people out and about you know, what better than eyes and ears during events, if people are willing to walk in the rain uh, or post a rainstorm, they can see these things and how they perform, which is absolutely invaluable. And the, the posts that are provided for the taking of the photos, I see is, you know, long-term as providing some great intelligence about how these things are working. Forward planning is key. And to see projects like this, to, to prevent 
you know, these hot spots where the city comes to a, a standstill, having more of these prevention me measures in our communities. It's not just about preventing floods, but as, as we see it greening over and the biodiversity coming in, I just think, it, you know, with the habitat, it's just an added community benefit.